Salutations, mortal beings. Gothic Gaming Geek here. Now, I've made a video similar to this in the past, but I wanted to go a little more in depth on just what it's like to be a Sonic fan because it's a struggle to say the least. Now, believe it or not, I actually have the utmost confidence in Sonic Frontiers. I think we're actually gonna get a good one this time. I can feel it in my jellies. But it's definitely gonna be a divisive game. I can see it now. There's gonna be two sets of people. Those who absolutely adore it, and those who hate it with every fiber of their being. It's gonna be Sonic Unleashed all over again. But I do think review scores are gonna be fairly positive for the most part, and this game will more or less put Sonic back on track. But it doesn't mean it's going to stay that way, because history constantly repeats itself. See, Sonic the Hedgehog is a very give-and-take series, constantly giving us false hope just to immediately rip it away from us. See, when Sonic first started, things were going great, and Sonic was really making a name for himself, even competing with the likes of Mario. Of course, they weren't all winners, but people for the most part tended to ignore the bad and focus solely on the good, but I guess over time that's become increasingly harder to do. And douchey game journalists like to tell you that Sonic had a rough transition into 3D when that's not really true. Sure, he kind of had a tough time getting there, but the first actual 3D Sonic game was an absolute banger in my opinion, and the sequel was just as good if not better in some ways. It was maintaining that level of quality that was the problem, because as much as a lot of people like heroes, there's no denying that's when shit started to get a little rough. And then Shadow the Hedgehog happened, and as much as my dark and edgy ass absolutely adores that game, there's no denying, it's kinda fucking stupid. <laughs> and then Sonic 06 came out, and ruined everything. Like, the series still has not recovered from that game. People just can't fucking let it go. Like, there's people who like that game, myself included, but the negative reputation that game, like, created has not subsided at all. And it doesn't help that Sega hasn't really learned anything since then. And it's really painful. I mean, for a while it seemed like they did. I mean, they took a bit of a risk with Unleashed putting the Werehog in there, and, you know, some people hated the game because of that, but... It really seemed like Sonic was going in a good direction, and people were actually starting to like the series again. Fast forward to colors, and Sonic fans were finally happy. Like, people fucking loved that game. Sure, they don't really like it anymore, but... At the time, that was the game that we fucking needed. Like, went back to basics... It was just Sonic and Tails again, it was a simplified plot, no overly edgy bullshit, like... Sonic was back on track. Or at least it seemed like that. And Generations, man. Generations was an absolute fucking banger, dude. So good. So fucking good. Literally the best way they could have celebrated the 20th anniversary, like... Shit was going good. It was going really, really good, and it seemed like... Sonic's future was actually gonna be great, you know? <laughs> Sonic saying to Classic Sonic, enjoy your future, it's gonna be great, like... It, it seemed like a foretelling of what was to come. And then, like dominoes, one fell and so too did the rest. Starting with Sonic Lost World. Now, Sonic Lost World was not that bad. At least on Wii U. The 3DS version was fucking dog shit, but... The Wii U version was... fine. In fact, I think the only reason people didn't like that game very much is because... Well, one, the story was fucking lame. Uh, two... It... Uh, emulated Mario just a little too much. Like, okay, the whole point of Sonic is that he's not Mario. And then you pretty much put him in a Mario game and called it a day. But, all things considered, not terrible, and I think the only reason people really hated that game is just simply because it couldn't stack up to Generations, which, no shit. Right? And then we had Sonic Boom, which was pretty much the second coming of the Antichrist. Okay, 
All the same mistakes they made with 06, they made again. Rushed out the fucking door, resulting in a really glitched fucking game that again ruined Sonic's reputation. Hadn't even fully recovered from 06, and they basically made a sequel. Yay. Way to learn from your way to learn your lesson. And then in 2017, Mania happened, and everything was finally good again. Classic Sonic fans finally got their sequel that they wanted for fucking years, you know? The, the true successor to Sonic 3 and Knuckles. It was great. People were loving Sonic again. Mania got really good reviews. And then in the same fucking year, Forces came out and ruined everything again. Couldn't even go a year without fucking everything up. Okay, I don't even think Forces is that bad personally, but God damn was it a whew, it was it was definitely a step down from from generations for sure. Might even go as far as to say Lost World was better. Like God damn. In the same year. Fucking that that's impressive. And then Team Sonic Racing, I don't know, it just seemed like nobody fucking cared, like, people hardly talked about that game. I guess, like, nobody played it because, you know, because of forces, they're like, uh, Sonic's still bad, so I'm not even gonna bother touching this one. I don't know. Like, if, if you ask me, that game was actually alright, but... Nobody played it, so, you know. Whatever. So that that was that was just whatever. And then comes a rather strange turn of events to say the least. Uh leading up to the Sonic movies release. Uh we were finally, you know, supposed to be getting a theatrical half live action, half CGI Sonic movie. And People did not have confidence in that movie. I didn't either, if I'm being honest. And then the first trailer happened, and they had that horrible design, and everybody was like, um, yeah, no. Just fucking cancel the movie. Uh, but something else happened that was very interesting. They delayed the movie to redesign Sonic, which I don't think... I've ever even seen a movie company delay a movie um, for the sake of changing minor things to improve it, but they did it. Uh, at first, they weren't even going to delay it. They were, you know, doing crunch to try to get people to fix it faster, and the people working on it were like, um, no, we're going to need more time. So then they delayed it. And the next trailer came out, and god damn was the design an improvement. Like, phew. You, you went from, like, the worst Sonic design ever to, like, one of the best, honestly. Like, <laughs> Sonic looks so good in the movie. It's, it's unbelievable. The, the glow-up was insane. And people loved that movie. Sure, there were naysayers, but... I, people people liked it, and I did too, to an extent. Uh, sure, it was cliche in a lot of ways, but... I felt like it was a pretty good, like, execution of what they were going for. Like, cliche things can still be good if the execution is good, and... I thought the execution was... You know, good. Not great, but good. Um... And it, it seemed like Sonic was back on track again. You know, people were happy. The Sonic movie made people happy about Sonic again. And then Color's Ultimate happened. It, how? How did they fuck it up so badly? Like, my god. Jeez, fucking good. Like, all you had to do... All you had to do was port the damn game, Sega. Like... 
How? Fucking Jesus. Like, and they still haven't fixed it, even with all the patches. Like, sure, it's better. The Switch version can't doesn't cause seizures anymore, and uh, the PlayStation version doesn't delete your fucking save file anymore. So that's good. Uh, Xbox version still runs like shit, though. Okay. I got the game on Xbox One because I figured that was the safest bet because I'd already heard about the shit wrong with the Switch version and the fact that the PS4 version literally deleted save files and just like, yeah, I'm going with Xbox for this one and I mean, it was the best way to play it, but it had, had like severe performance issues, long loading times, fucking like the frame rate was atrocious on Xbox One. Granted, I was playing on an Xbox One S. If I was playing on a One X or a Series X, maybe it would have ran a little better, but even Resident Evil 8 ran okay on an Xbox One S. Like, if that game ran okay, like, there is no excuse for Colors Ultimate running the way that it did. It was, it was fucking awful. Like, I still had a little fun with it in spite of that, but, like, ugh, just, just no. And, again, they still haven't fixed it. The Xbox One version still runs like absolute shit. I don't know about the other versions, but I ain't buying the game again to find out. But hey, I got a Sonic keychain for my troubles, so there's that. Now, though, we're in a slightly more optimistic era. The second Sonic movie came out, which it's astounding to me that they managed to have not one, but two Sonic movies between the mainline Sonic games. Just goes to show how long they've been taking, which is a good thing. Um, hopefully it will turn out good as a result. I'm confident that it will. Um, but, yeah. Sonic 2 movie is fucking fantastic, like, way better than the first one. There were people who were saying it was worse, and those people are insane. Like, actually insane. Like, the the first Sonic movie, as much as I enjoyed it, it just kind of felt like a family buddy comedy. Not a whole lot of Sonic stuff going on there. Some, but not a lot. But Sonic 2, like, really fucking leaned into the Sonic fan service. Particular, particularly in regards to, like, the Sonic 2 and 3 fan service, which I'm all for. And then, fuck, the post credits scene. Ho oh, ho. Oh, boy, did that get me excited for Sonic 3, the movie. Oh, Lord. Like, I ain't gonna spoil it, but I'm sure some of you know who's gonna be in the next one, and... Oh, oh boy, am I happy about it. <laughs> oh, so happy. And Sonic Origins is good. Just good. Like, it's definitely not perfect, but it's good. Um, little overpriced, yeah. Uh, definitely, like, problems? Oh, yeah. You know, once again, game was rushed, because Sega won't learn their fucking lesson, but all things considered... It turned out better than Colors Ultimate, definitely. Like I'd, I'd say like shit compared to Colors Ultimate. Like that shit came out relatively unscathed. Like the fact that that shit even turned out functional is fucking all I can really ask for. I don't know about you guys, but definitely could have been way fucking worse. <laughs> I, I hate that that's where I'm at, but if a Sonic game is even semi-functional, like, it's it's a W in my book. And then there's the fandom. I just, the less said about that, the better, but fucking Christ, did they drive me insane. Constantly flip-flopping, I, like, 
there was a time when like Unleashed was dog shit and Colors was the best thing since sliced bread. Now Unleashed is the best thing and Colors is dog shit. Both are good if you ask me, but yeah, guess that's just me. And I swear Sonic fans just bitch and moan about everything. Dude, if a Sonic game is not 100% perfect, they are gonna have a goddamn conniption. Is the is the is the criticism warranted sometimes? Sure. Absolutely. But there are times when Sonic fans are bitching just to bitch, like when they said Generations was boost to win, even though that's not true at all. You're literally making shit up just to have something to complain about. It's fucking stupid. The biggest struggle for me though has to be being in the minority. And that's what that means is, like, I like a lot of the Sonic games that other people don't. Like, 3D Blast, 06. Honestly, even Boom to an extent, like, yeah, I was shitting on it, but I don't think it's awful. Um, then again, it was patched to hell by the time I got to it, so... Oddly enough, it was actually more functional than 06 when I played it, but... Uh, I don't know. Um, I also like Lost World on Wii U, I don't mind that game too much, and even Forces I don't totally hate, um, and I don't know, there's other ones too that I think are genuinely good, which I'm happy people have warmed up to, but, like, I always liked 06, I always liked Sonic and the Black Knight, I always liked Sonic 3D Blast, and I've had to listen to people shit all over those games, and it's taken a toll on me, man. It's taken a toll on me hearing people bash the hell out of some of my favorite games of all time. And like, damn, no wonder I have crippling depression. But hey, that's about all I have to say. I'm sure this video went on for way fucking longer than it needed to, but... Just had a lot of shit I wanted to say. Uh, hopefully being a Sonic fan sucks a little less going forward, but... I doubt it. There's always going to be a bleak future for Sonic, because Sega never seems to learn their lesson on anything, and... Are constantly rushing games out the door. They've even been doing it since the Genesis era with, like, Sonic 2, where there was supposed to be a lot more content in that game, and then Sonic 3 had to be split into two separate games, so... Yeah. Always done that, always will, but... Hey. I'll always stand by their side no matter what, because... I'm a naive Sonic fan, but... That's all I have to say. It's the Gothic Gaming Geek signing out. Have a good one. Emotional damage!